everybody and welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I have talked to you, but I have a very good excuse. I am sitting here in my brand new, well, it's not brand new, but brand new to me, log home. So about, ooh, let's see, three weeks ago, I moved out of my rental house and into this hopefully forever home. And I have just been right out straight. So I moved in here and about five days after moving in, I thought I would be fully unpacked and settled by then, Spoiler alert, I was not. My parents came to visit, and my parents were here for 12 days. You guys, a word to the wise, 12 days with your parents is maybe just a little bit too long. We had a really great time, and they were super helpful, and I am so very grateful that they did come, because having my mom and dad here really did help me to get super settled. My mom did lots of cooking, so I've got a freezer full of mom-made meals, <laughs> which I'm very happy about, and my dad did a lot of the little, you know, handyman type things. I needed a ba uh, bathroom cabinet put in my master bathroom, that sort of thing. I love my parents so much, but 12 days was a little bit long. Let's see, what else? Oh, I'm gonna have to show you my chickens. I have chickens now. So the home that we moved into has a chicken coop existing. And so it was like, just add chickens and ta-da. So um, I have so many eggs. So actually, if you wanna help me out, drop your favorite egg recipes down below because I can only make deviled eggs and egg salad and egg sandwiches for so long. And I know there's gotta be some other things. Like I'm thinking maybe a quiche. I have to think of things to make eggs with. Okay, I'm getting totally off on a tangent. So the new house that I'm in is about 40 minutes from town. So yeah, if I need like a half gallon of milk, I need to drive 40 minutes. But I'm not mad at this because I am a country girl and I like being out in the middle of the country. Oh goodness, so much to tell you about. What else? So I have bats. <laughs> if you watch my Insta story, last night I posted about my bats. So it's pretty cool. They don't live in the house. Actually, I can probably flip you around maybe. Nope, I cannot. I'll show you after. So after I get done talking, blah, blah, I will show you some of the rooms of the home. I'm not completely moved in, so I don't really wanna do like a house tour, but I think once I completely get moved in, in like a month, because it takes so much longer than you would ever imagine, I wanna do a house tour for you guys, but I'm gonna show you a little bit um, today. Anyway, I have bats. They don't live inside of the house. They're not in my attic, they're not in the house, so don't stress. But they do live on the outside of the house. So on the outside of the house, there's this little like Eve channel around the border of the roof. You can tell I'm not a builder, right? <laughs> Eve channel. It's almost like a perfectly made natural bat house and there's screens at the top of it so the bats can't get into the house, like I said, but the Eve is like a perfect natural bat house. So bats are really cool and they like fly on schedule, like super schedule, 15 minutes after sunset. So every day I Google what time is sunset and you know, it keeps moving like one or two minutes each day. So last night sunset was at 8.05 p.m. Well, at exactly, you know it's going to happen at 8.20, exactly 15 minutes after sunset, the bats fly. And so it's become kind of like a, a nightly you know ritual that i go out and watch the bats and it's pretty freaking cool okay so i live like in the middle of nowhere and i kind of overlook a valley so i should have a tremendous amount of like bugs and mosquitoes but i do not and it's because of my bats and it's so funny because when i first moved in and first saw the bats i was like oh my god i need an exterminator like this is, this is not gonna fly but then i had a bat specialist come out they saw that we had all of the protection that we needed to make sure that the bats don't get into the actual house. And he said, they're gonna do a really great job, you know, eating mosquitoes for you. I was like, well, I hate mosquitoes. So, you know, maybe me and the bats can coexist nicely. And now over the last three weeks, I am happy to report like, of course there's still bugs, but we have so much less bugs than we really should. And it's because of my bat population. Okay, what else? I told you I have chickens. I'm going to definitely show you the chickens. I guess I'm just gonna have to like break this down. Maybe I should uh, do a little like series of the house and just show you like one room a week or something. Cause there's a lot to show you. But uh, what else? 
Next week, I'm going to Park City for our Platinum Premiere Retreat. I am so super excited about that. I will definitely be doing um, some kind of a vlog video for that event because you have to see behind the scenes of a Platinum Premiere Retreat. We have so much fun. We get pampered so much. I am so excited for that. But also, I really want to have my house like completely unpacked by then. So when I moved in, I first, I don't even know how much you guys want to know. <laughs> Ask me your questions. If you guys could give me questions down below, like what do you want to know about? Do you want a house tour? Do you want like to know how I'm decorating? P.S. I have been just stalking Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls because they have the best stuff. And I've picked up some really cool furniture pieces because you can't just like buy any furniture. I feel like being in the log house, I want to have like rustic type pieces, right? And I found some pretty cool um, rustic looking pieces anyway from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Um, yeah, so tell me what videos you want to see, what, um, you know, questions you have about Posh, if you want to know about Posh. My life has just been crazy. As If you guys have made it this far, you are the real MVPs. I know I'm a little bit all over the place, but um, life has been crazy. That's why I haven't been on here for videos, but I am giving myself a swift kick in the pants and getting back to my videos. So, Here's my excuse video. Next week, you can look forward to a couple of product reviews, maybe a house tour. You guys have to give me ideas. You guys, I feel like I should do a video all about moving because I thought I was super prepared, like down to the letter. I was not. Things like, like super, I bought all the special little labels to like label master bedroom, kitchen, open first, this, that, and the other. But then once we got here, it was just... Where are my good knives? Where's my, you know, chargers? Like, where are the simple things when I really should have? You guys remember, gosh, what, a couple, like six months ago or whatever, I posted the how to pack a go bag because I had the fire situation at my old house. You almost need to have a go bag for your move, right? Oh my God, it took me two days to find my toothbrush. So ridiculous. Like, I really. I left all of our like last minute bathroom stuff to be packed very last. And I just put them into a tote bag. But that tote bag of last minute bathroom stuff that you need literally the night before and the morning of the move, you should really put in the front seat of your car and have it drive with you to your new house and put it immediately into the bathroom. It should not have taken me two days to find my toothbrush, but in real life it did. Yeah, I could do I have to start taking notes. I could do a whole video on like moving tips because I thought I had it all down and I did not. Um, anyway, all right, well, let me show you some of the house. I'll show you a couple of the rooms, show you what a mess I'm in, and uh, let me know, you guys. Tell me, tell me how to live my life. Are you my mother? <laughs> um, tell me what you want to see more of, and I am committed to bringing you guys that was kind of silly. Uh, more content next week. Okay, I'm going to walk you through just a couple of rooms of the house. This is the living room, which is kind of open concept into the kitchen, which everything is a mess right now. Don't judge me. <laughs> now we're walking up the stairs into the master bedroom. It's got this like opening right there. I'm not sure what to put there. I'm thinking like a vanity, but you can see I've got a lot of spaces and I need to get some dressers, but I do have a nice master closet, which I'm going to walk you into right now. Again, super messy. I have I haven't fully, you know, unpacked the hoard that is my closet into there, but it's got a lot of really nice space and I'm super excited, but I need to Marie Kondo. And now we're going to head into my office. I did some work on my shelves here, so I'm getting my inventory all aligned. And here I am giving you like a two cent house tour after I told you I wasn't going to give you one. This is my guest bed that I am so proud of because I think it's so pretty and the kind of makeshift guest room that I have set up for now. When you wake up in my guest bed, you have a beautiful view and that is just my most favorite part of the house ever. Well, I actually have a lot of favorite parts because here I am telling you that this is one of my favorite rooms because hello, look at that tub. And I just can't wait to have a guest come use my tub. <laughs> when you walk out of that bathroom, you've got the kitchen on the left, and then you walk into the living room, and I just love this view so very much. It makes the house, and it just makes the house so bright. So I find myself working like in the living room or right in the kitchen and not even in the office so much, even though I have the office set up just for working. Hi,
You guys like my fancy shoes? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed my little, you know, spouting off of my life update, give me a thumbs up and let me know you like this type of video and I'll try to organize my thoughts a little bit more for next time. <laughs> I hope you guys have a happy Friday and a wonderful weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye.